Okay. Uh, I, I am not here to conduct a trial of your case or to take a plea in your case. I am here to inform you of the charges that have been filed against you, to advise you of certain rights, to set bail on those offenses that I'm authorized to set bail, to schedule a preliminary hearing, and to determine whether you require the assistance of an attorney. You have the right to remain silent and say nothing, but should you give up this right, anything you say during this proceeding may be used against you if your case goes to trial. So please don't discuss the facts of your case. During this and all other proceedings, you have the following rights. The right to the presumption of innocence, the right to indictment by a grand jury for most felonies or by accusation for misdemeanors, the right to a speedy and public trial by jury, the right to see, hear, and question witnesses who are called to testify against you, the right to compel the attendance of witnesses to testify on your behalf, the right to testify on your own behalf, or offer evidence in your own defense, the right to have an attorney represent you. If you cannot afford an attorney, one can be appointed to represent you if you qualify. Some of you will be allowed to post unrestric unrestricted bonds for your release from jail, which may be cash, commercial, or property. And what that means is for all of you who have bonds, you can either pay it all in cash to the sheriff's department and they'll return it when your case is over, you can go through a bonding company, but you're gonna to have to pay a fee to that bonding company and that fee is not gonna be returned or you can use property. But if you use property, the uh, value of that property has to be at least three times uh, the amount of the bond. Some of you will have special conditions on your bond that prohibit you from contacting certain people or going to certain places. This special condition will be provided to you on a separate form. You will also be prohibited from contacting the victim while you are in jail. If you violate the court's order, your bond will be revoked and you could remain in jail until your trial. You could also receive additional felony charges. It is important to note that if someone is listed as a victim in your case, that person will not be allowed to post your bond. Some of you are charged with, with offenses for which this court is not authorized by law to set bail at this time. In this event, a bond hearing will be scheduled before a judge of the Superior Court of Clayton County and you will, will be informed of that date. If you are currently on active probation, this court is not authorized to set bond. Whether bond is appropriate in your case will be reconsidered after your probation officer has had an opportunity to consider this new arrest. The purpose of a preliminary hearing is to determine whether there is sufficient evidence to support the allegations against you. The standard at this stage is very low. A judge determining whether a charge goes forward at this stage only has to determine that it is possible that the crime occurred. Everyone has the ability to waive their right to a preliminary hearing. However, should you speak, you should speak to a lawyer first if you are unsure about whether it is appropriate to waive your preliminary hearing. If you post bond, your preliminary hearing is automatically waived. You will receive notice at the address you give of your court date. Now I need everyone to raise your right hand. I'm gonna swear you all in. Do you swear or affirm any testimony that you give during this proceeding will be the truth, the whole truth, so help you God? Sir. Okay, now, as I indicated before, I'm gonna try to move you guys along as quickly as possible because the longer this paperwork uh, sits, the longer you sit in jail. And I know you all wanna get out um, as quickly as possible or find out your bond so you can start the process of getting out. However, I am here to answer questions that I can answer. So I'm not telling you don't ask a question if you have a question, but let's all try to get into this social con uh, contract and move everybody along. Okay, um, how do you want to proceed? I'll do the females first, y'all. Okay, all right, I got those ready to go. Um, just let me know when you're ready and I'll start. Come on, lady. We're ready, who are your first female you have, y'all? Uh, it's gonna be Miss Bell. Yeah, come on. Uh, she bonded out. Oh, she did? Yes. Okay. She bonded out. 
All right, the next one then is going to be uh, Ms. Bird. Miss Bird, you've been charged with theft by taking um, as a misdemeanor and possession of marijuana less than an ounce. The bond for both of those offenses is automatically set by schedule. So there's a $2,000 bond for the theft by taking and a $1,500 bond for the marijuana charge for a total bond of $3,500. Do you believe you can post that bond, ma'am? I'm sorry, she said yes. Um, I'm trying to, I don't, a bond is like the whole 3,000? Uh, 3,500, yes, ma'am. Okay, no, I don't think so. Okay, uh, you can, the jail is gonna give you a list of bonding companies and sometimes the bonding companies, they, like I said before, they're set a percentage and some may even put you on a payment plan. So um, if you don't have that amount of money, you can call those bonding companies and try to make arrangements with them. Do you want me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Uh, yes, sir, please. Okay, ma'am, you do qualify. So I'm going to appoint a lawyer to represent you. I've set your preliminary hearing date for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. And it's gonna say courtroom 201, but it's gonna be over a Zoom hearing like we're having today. Okay, you have any questions of me, ma'am? No, okay, you're free to go back. Um, I got uh, Beth Sheena Fainer. <laughs> ma'am, um, you've been charged with battery and simple assault. I've given, it looks like you may have a twin sister. I've given both you and your sister the same bond. There's a $2,000 uh, bond for the battery charge and a $1,500 bond for the simple assault. Do you believe you can post that bond, ma'am? You said yes? Okay. Uh, would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of an attorney? Okay. It looks like you do qualify, ma'am. I'm going to appoint a lawyer to represent you. I'm also giving you a preliminary hearing date of uh, February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. And that'll be a Zoom hearing like we have today. And as I indicated before, if you bond out, that preliminary hearing date is gonna automatically be waived, okay? Do you have any questions of me, ma'am? Okay, you're free to go back. Uh, Maisha Fainer. Yes, sir. Ma'am, um, you've been charged with battery and simple assault also, and I've set the bond the same as your sister, $2,000 for the battery and $1,500 for the simple assault. Do you believe you can post that bond, ma'am? Yes. Okay. Um, would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Was that a yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Ma'am, you do qualify. I'm going to appoint a lawyer to represent you. Um, there's also something important to note. I put a stay away condition on both your bond and your sister's bond to stay away from Brooklyn bail. And so what that means is while this case is pending, uh, and while this condition is in place, you need to stay away from Ms. Bell. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions of me? No, sir. All right. You're free to go back. Um, Ms. Jacobs. Ms. Ms. Jacobs, you've been charged with one count of simple battery. I've set the bond at $1,500 for that charge. Do you believe you can post that bond, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay. Would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Yes, sir. How much do you earn per, per month, Ms. Jacobs? Um, Approximately. I'll say a thousand. Okay. You do qualify, ma'am. I'm going to appoint a lawyer to represent you. I've also set the preliminary hearing date for uh, February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. That's gonna be a Zoom call like we're having today. If you bond out, that hearing date is gonna be automatically waived, okay? Do you have any questions of me, ma'am? No, sir. Okay, you're free to go back. Uh, Ms. Pye. Yes, sir. 
Ms. Pye, you've been charged with one count of uh, driving under the influence of alcohol, one count of improper lane change, and one count of criminal damage to property in a second degree. Uh, and it's listed as a felony because the uh, approximate value of this mailbox was $2,500. So I've set a bond at $5,000 for the driving under the influence charge. The improper lane change is automatically set at $500. And I've set a $5,000 uh, bond for the criminal damage to property in the second degree. That brings your total bond to $10,500. Do you believe you can post that bond, ma'am? No, I do not, sir. Okay. I would encourage you to um, contact the bonding companies. The sheriff's office has a list of bonding companies and they will sometimes put you on a payment plan um, and allow you to bond out. Um, so I would look into that, okay? Yes, yeah, um, sure. Sorry, can I speak, Your Honor? Uh, give me one second and I'll let you speak. Um, would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Yes, sir. Okay. You do qualify, ma'am. I'm going to appoint a lawyer to represent you. Um, now, what was your question? Uh, the statement that I was going to make, sir, is that the cause of the accident was because of the oncoming car. I had no choice because had I not moved to the side, that car and I both would have hit head on. They were in the middle of the street. So the reason of the mailbox being hit was for that but my uh, family that has a construction site, we are willing to rebuild that little piece of the mailbox that was damaged, sir. And that's something, ma'am, that I think you should tell the lawyer that I'm appointing to you because it may lead um, to that charge being dismissed. Um, the uh, $5,000 bond amount that I set for the DUI is the lowest amount that I'm allowed to set. Um, okay. So I did set you at the lowest bond amount for that charge. Um, you have, because this has been a felony with the criminal damage to property, you have a different uh, hearing date set. So I've set a bond, I'm sorry, preliminary hearing date for March 1st at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201, but it's going to be over a Zoom hearing uh, like we're having here today. Um, do you have any other questions for me, ma'am? No, so I have to stay in here till March 1st? Uh, no, ma'am. As I said before, I would contact the bonding companies because they probably will put you on a payment plan. I can't promise that, but the sheriff's office has a list of the bonding companies that are approved to write bonds in this county. So I wouldn't just sit here and say, I'm not, I'm just got to be stuck. But you may have to contact those bonding companies, okay? Sir. All right. Any other questions, ma'am? No, sir. Okay, you're free to go back. Judge, we have one more female that didn't call. Come here, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, right here. Uh, Collier. Collier. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Maybe I put her in the wrong stack. Yep, I did. I'm sorry. Um, Ms. Collier, ma'am, you've been charged with one count of battery. I've set the bond at $2,000 for that. And I've put a stay away condition on the bond to stay away from Jason Wynn. Do you believe you can post this bond, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay. Would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Did you say yes? Yes, sir. Okay. You do qualify, ma'am. So I'm going to appoint a lawyer to represent you. I'm also setting a preliminary hearing date of February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. And that's gonna be over the Zoom call like we're having here today. Uh, but if you bond out, that hearing date is gonna be automatically waived, okay? Yes, sir. Do you have any questions of me, ma'am? Okay. okay, you're free to go back. Yeah, that's all for the females. Okay, uh, the first male I have is a Mr. Ocon, A-C-O-N. What about Mr. Blyber? A call has a. Um, hold on. He's still holding on. I got it. A call, come on. A call is coming down, sir. Okay. And the next person I have is Ask You, and then I have Mr. Blyber. Okay. 
Um, how do you pronounce your last name, sir? Akon. A C O R. Akon. Okay, Mr. Akon, you've been charged with one count of aggravated assault, and I cannot, by law, set a bond at this proceeding. Uh, but I have set you down for a preliminary hearing date of March 1st at 8.30 a.m. And that'll be a Zoom call like this. And I also have set you down for a Superior Court bond hearing date of March 5th at 8.30 a.m. Uh, would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Yes, sir. You do qualify. So I'm going to appoint you a lawyer. Um, do you have any questions of me, sir? Uh, no, sir. Okay, you're free to go back. Okay, Mr. Askew. Sir, you've been charged with two counts of armed robbery, one count of possession of a firearm uh, during the commission of a crime, and two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I'm not allowed to set bond for you at this uh, proceeding, uh, but I did set a preliminary hearing date for you for March 1st at 8.30 a.m. And that'll be over the Zoom call like we're having here right now. And I also have set a, um, a preliminary, I'm sorry, a, a bond hearing date for March 5th at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201. Um, would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? You do qualify. And so I'm going to appoint a lawyer for you, Mr. Askew. Uh, do you have any questions of me, sir? Okay, you're free to go back. Uh, I have Mr. Blyther next. Yes, sir. Then after Mr. Blyther, I have Mr. Cleveland. Uh, Mr. Blyther, you've been charged with one count of driving on a suspended or revoked license. The bond for that is automatically set at $1,500. Do you believe you can post that bond, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Um, you do qualify, Mr. so I'm going to appoint a lawyer to represent you. I've also set uh, bond, I'm sorry, preliminary hearing date for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. And that'll be over the Zoom hearing like we're doing today. But if you bond out, that date is gonna be automatically waived, okay? Do you have any questions of me, sir? Yeah, they, they told me I uh, paid my bond last night. How, how do I go about that? You already paid your bond? Thanks. Okay, then they were probably waiting on this proceeding. And I do apologize that you've had to wait all day for it. Um, so as soon as the sheriff's office get this paperwork and put it into the system, they're going to be calling you to leave. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Yes, okay. Sir. You're free to go back. After Mr. Cleveland, I got Mr. Denton. Are you Mr. Cleveland? Yes, sir. Sir, you've been charged with one count of aggravated assault one count of family violence battery and one count of criminal damage uh, to property in the second degree. Uh, bond is gonna be denied at this point, but I've set a preliminary hearing date for March 1st at 8.30 a.m. And I've set a Superior Court bond hearing date for March 5th at 8.30 a.m. Um, would you like me to see if you qualify for the appointment of, of a lawyer? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to find that you qualify, and I'm going to appoint a lawyer to represent you. Do you have any questions of me? Oh, no, sir. Okay. You're free to go back. No. After Mr. Denton, we're going to have Mr. Golfin. Um, Mr. Denton, sir, you've been charged with one count of uh, VGCSA was the violation of Georgia Controlled Substance Act um, and one count of driving under the influence of alcohol. Uh, the violation of Georgia Controlled Substance Act is a felony. They're alleging that you had, um, uh, it looks like marijuana flavored gummies or marijuana gummies. The bond for the um, VGCSA is gonna be set at $2,000 and the bond for the DUI 
is going to be set at two thousand dollars. Do you believe you can post that bond? It's going to be a total bond of four thousand dollars. Yes, sir. You said no. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Um, would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Yes, sir. I'm going to find that you qualify. Mr. Denton, I'm going to appoint a lawyer to represent you. Um, I've set your preliminary hearing date for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. Um, and because these are both, no, I'm sorry, that's wrong. I apologize. Uh, because the VGCSA is a felony, your preliminary hearing date is gonna be set for March 1st at 8.30 a.m. and it's going to be a Zoom hearing like we're having here today. Do you have any questions of me, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, you're free to go back. After Mr. Golfin, we have Mr. Ladossier or Ladossier. Um, Mr. Golfin, you've been charged with um, possession of marijuana over an ounce, which is a felony, and possession of marijuana with the intent uh, to distribute, which is also a felony and distracted driving. I've set a $10,000 bond for each of the drug charges and a $500 bond for the distracted driving charge for a total bond of $2,000, I'm sorry, $20,500. Do you believe you can post that bond, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? I'm gonna find that you qualify, sir. I'm going to appoint a lawyer for you uh, because the first two charges are felony, uh, felony charges. You're gonna have a preliminary hearing date set for March 1st at 8.30 a.m. And that's gonna be over a Zoom call like we're having here today. Do you have any questions of me, sir? No, oh, sir. Okay, you're free to go back. <laughs> After Mr. Ladossier is Mr. Langford. How do you pronounce your last name, sir? Laducer. Laducer, okay. Mr. Laducer, you've been charged with one count of driving under the influence and it listed it as a second offense, but I did not see a first offense on your, um, your criminal history. So I set the bond at $5,000 for that charge. You've also been charged with driving on a uh, suspended or revoked license. The bond is automatically set at $1,500 for that. That's a total bond of $6,500. Do you believe you can post that bond, sir? Sure. Okay. Um, would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Qualify, sir. Okay. Um, as I indicated, well, to everyone, you're gonna have a preliminary hearing date set for February 23rd at uh, 8.30 a.m. Uh, but when you bond out, that date is gonna automatically be waived and you'll get another date, okay? Do you have any questions of me? Okay, you're free to go back. <laughs> Mr. Langford, sir, you've been charged with one count of criminal trespass one count of terroristic threats or acts and one count of possession of marijuana less than an ounce. I've set your bond at $1,500 for the criminal trespass. I've set your bond at $2,000 for the terroristic threats or acts. Uh, even though they've charged you with that and that's a felony, um, the way that it's listed in here, it, it, it just, I, I think the bond amount um, at 2000 is, is sufficient for that. Uh, and the possession of marijuana less than an ounce is I've set the bond at $1,500. So that brings you a total bond of $5,000. Do so you believe you can post that bond, sir? I have to call them another place. Okay. Would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. You do qualify. Um, Mr. Langford, so I'm going to appoint a lawyer to represent you. Because this has been um, set as a felony offense, you're going to have a preliminary hearing date of March 1st at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201. Um, 
but if you bond out, no, that date is gonna stay set. Um, do you have any questions of me, Mr. Langford? No, sir. Okay, you're free to go back. Thank you. Um, I have Mr. LaSalle, but it looks like he may be uh, out to bond. Is that true? Yes, sir. Okay. You are Mr. Uh, Mascall? Yes, sir. Okay, sir, you've been charged with one count of hit and run, leaving the scene of an accident, one count of open container violation, and one count of tampering with evidence. Um, the hit and run bond is gonna be set at $3,000. The open container is automatically set um, at $500. And the tampering with evidence charge, I've set that at $500 also uh, because of the allegation that the tampering of evidence is pouring out your can of beer. Um, so that brings a total bond of $4,000. Do so you believe you can post that bond, sir? Okay. Would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Why not, sir? I'm, I'm sorry. You said no? Yes. No. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so I hear you saying you are going to hire your own lawyer or you're going to represent yourself? No, I said I could bond out, right? With the 4000 Uh, Yes, sir. I'll try to get there as soon as I can. Okay, now, just so you know, whether you bond out or not doesn't affect whether you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer. And I know it's hard to communicate over this, so I just want to make certain that you, you don't want me to make a determination as to whether you qualify for a lawyer. Is that true? Or do you want me to look to see if you qualify? You can look to see. Okay, you do qualify. So I can appoint a lawyer if you want me to. How long would that take? Sir? Uh, the paperwork goes over to them today. Um, so they'll get the information today. Well, it's after hours now. So they'll probably see it tomorrow. But I don't know how long it'll take for them to, to contact you. I mean, you're perfectly... You can represent yourself. You can hire your own lawyer. It's up to you. This is my first time in appeals. Okay. So, it's it's. What do you want me to do? Get the bond, the four thousand. Yes, sir. On the up, right? Okay. Um, I'm just going to appoint you a lawyer, Mr. Mascal, because you do qualify. You can fire that lawyer and you can hire your own lawyer, but it seems like we're, we're missing each other right now. But because you do qualify and you filled out the paperwork, I'm going to appoint a lawyer for you, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Any other questions? Awesome. All right. You're free to go back. Uh, Mr. Moten? Yes, sir. Sir, you've been charged with one count of theft by receiving property stolen out of a state. They're alleging that uh, you're in the possession of a firearm that was reported stolen out of the state of Florida. Now set your bond at $5,000. Do you believe you can post that bond, sir? Okay. Would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Yes, sir. Okay, you do qualify. Um, so I'm going to appoint a lawyer for you. Uh, this charge you've been charged with is a felony charge. So you have a uh, preliminary hearing date set for March 1st at 8.30 a.m. And that's going to be over a Zoom hearing like we're having today. Do you have any questions of me, sir? Okay, you're free to go back. Are you Mr. Ramsey? Okay. Um, wait. You're Mr. Roberts. Okay. Mr. Roberts, you've been charged with one count of theft by deception. Um, you, because this is a misdemeanor, it's, it's set by a uh, schedule at $2,000. Do you believe you can post that bond, sir? I should be able to tell you that. Okay. Um, uh, this is just real brief. I can't, I can't even carry the county on them. And I've been there for the last six months and I, I had an active hold for Clayton County um, for the, 
to step on a session. I hadn't hold it for a minute bond or anything there. So, um, what did y'all do? I don't know, only this bonds now, or y'all stop that, or what? Uh, we don't do the signature bonds or the OR bonds anymore. Uh, so you will have to post this bond by cash uh, property or use a bonding company. Wow. Okay. Um, would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of, of a lawyer or has one been appointed to you already? I want to. Okay. Um, you do qualify, Mr. Roberts. So I'm going to appoint a lawyer to represent you. You're going to have a preliminary hearing date set for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. Um, and that'll be over a Zoom hearing like we're having here today. Uh, do you have any questions of me, sir? Okay, you're free to go back. Mr. Ra uh, Mr. Ramsey? Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, you've been charged with one count of driving under the influence of alcohol and one count of improper lane change. Um, the bond for that is going to be set at $5,000. For the DUI charge, is going to be set at $5,000. And the bond for the improper lane change is going to be set at $500 to bring a total bond of $5,500. Do you believe you can post that bond, sir? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm gonna find that you qualify, Mr. Ramsey. I'm going to appoint a lawyer to represent you. The preliminary hearing date is gonna be set for February 23rd um, at 8.30 a.m. But if you post bond, that date is gonna be uh, waived. Do you have any questions of me, sir? No, sir. Okay, you're free to go back. Uh, is this Mr. Robinson? Yeah. Yes. Is it possible to go ahead and get Mr. Williams seen? We're having some behavior issues with him down here first. Yes, and I, I believe that they're, yes. Right, he's right here. Come on, Mr. Williams. Okay. Yeah, right there. Okay. Mr. Williams, um, you've been charged with one count of simple assault. I've set the bond at $3,000 for that. Um, and I'm setting a stay away condition for you to stay away from um, your mother, Dorothy Williams. Now that can be changed. Um, it looked like there could be some issues going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna appoint a lawyer to represent you because um, you do qualify. Um, and I'm gonna set a preliminary hearing date for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. But if you bond out, that date is gonna be automatically waived. Uh, do you have any questions of me, Mr. Williams? Thank you very much. Okay, you're free to go back, sir. Yes, sir. Chester Robinson. Mr. Robinson, you've been charged with one count of uh, driving under the influence of alcohol uh, to the extent you're a less safe driver and one count of distracted driving. Uh, the uh, bond for the DUI charge is going to be set at $5,000 and the bond for the distracted driving is automatically set at $500. So that's $5,500. You believe you can post that bond, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Yes, sir. Okay. You do qualify, Mr. Uh, Robinson, so I'm going to appoint a lawyer for you. You're gonna have a preliminary hearing date of February 23rd at 8.30 a.m., but that date is gonna be automatically waived if you uh, bond out, okay? Sure. Uh, you have any questions of me? Yes, sir. Okay, you're free to go back. Um, Mr. Sibley, is he OTB? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, uh, Mr. Weaver, or, Mr. Weaver, you're charged with uh, possession of marijuana, uh, less than an ounce, and possession of tobacco. Um, as a 17-year-old, I've set the bond for the possession of tobacco at $500, and I've set the bond for the possession of marijuana, what is automatically set at $1,500 for a total bond of $2,000. Do you believe you can post that bond, sir? Okay. Would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? 
Okay. You're going to hire your own lawyer or represent yourself? Hire my own. Okay. Um, your preliminary hearing date is set for March 23rd. That date is going to be waived. You bond out. Um, do you have any questions of me, sir? Um, my bond, my total bond, 2500 right? Um, your total bond is, is 2000 but there are fees that are added. And I don't believe it'll bring it up to 2500 but there are fees that, that are going to be added that the sheriff's office has to add. Um, so the bond that I'm setting is 2000 but there will be some fees added, okay? I got to pay 10% or 15% of that, but the whole 2000 um, it'll if you go through a bonding company, it'll be a percentage, and the sheriff's office has the list of the bonding companies uh, that are approved by the sheriff. So you can call them, and they'll tell you what exactly they'll charge you um, for bonding or uh, posting your bond. Okay, all right, you're free to go back, Mr. Weddington. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. Um, you've been charged with one count of simple battery. I set the bond at $1,500 for that. Do you believe you can post that bond, sir? Okay. Would you like for me to see if you qualify for the appointment of a lawyer? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I'm gonna find that you do qualify. I'm going to appoint a lawyer to represent you. I've set a preliminary hearing date for February 23rd at 8.30 in the morning. Uh, but that hearing, and it'll be over Zoom like this is now, but that hearing date will be automatically waived when you bond out, okay? Any, any questions for me, sir? Okay, you're free to go back. Thank you, Your Honor. That should be everybody. You're welcome. See, we can see what we can do when we work together. Can we, can we do this every day? <laughs> <laughs> I will do my best. I appreciate you so much. 